Brazelman, and you're watching my short documentaries, I Love My City. Today I'm reporting from London, one of the most beautiful cities in the world. So let's take a walk through this you know, beautiful capital of the United Kingdom and see what to do, where to eat and where to stay in this beautiful city. Start your journey around London at Trafalgar Square. Trafalgar Square is home to Nelson's Column, iconic stone lions, the famous fourth plinth, and a lot of pigeons. It is a must-see destination for visitors to London. You'll often find cultural events, performances, shows, and other special activities going on in the square by the fountains. One of the most famous icons of London, Tower Bridge, is definitely a must-see for anyone visiting London. The bridge is suspended over the famous River Thames and is a very popular attraction for tourists and locals alike. The bridge was originally opened in 1894 and has been very well maintained over the years. The Tower Bridge has been a popular tourist attraction ever since its construction started. The Tower of London is easily the most historically interesting place in London. If you have any interest in history, then you know you cannot afford to miss a visit to this place. The White Tower, which gives this place its name, was originally built in 1078 by William the Conqueror. It was a major sign of oppression and was widely despised. It became a symbol of power and over the centuries it has been attacked many times. It was considered crucial to control if one wanted to show control over London itself. Today it is a marked UNESCO World Heritage Site. Make sure to stop and take a picture with the London Eye on the background. This is one of the major sightseeing in London. London Eye is the name of giant ferry wheel in London. It is one of the most well-known landmarks, which is an impressive feat in such an old city considering that the wheel was opened to the public in 2000. The London Eye has one function and it does it better than anything else. It allows you to get a view of all of London. All of the other famous landmarks can be seen from the London Eye. Westminster Palace is as significant to the London cityscape as the Big Ben or the London Eye. Having been created during the Middle Ages, Westminster Palace was used as a residential palace by many monarchs before being used as the location for all British parliaments, a tradition that carried on to become permanent after the Great Fire in 1512. Westminster Palace, which is now also known as Westminster Abbey, is now known as a symbol of British politics. Westminster Abbey is a church situated to the west of the House of Parliament. Known for its Gothic architecture, the Westminster Abbey Church has been around since the 960s, according to historical reports. So you know it has seen its part of history. However, a proper construction of the present church began in 1245 and was commissioned by King Henry III. Buckingham Palace is one of the most famous places of residence in the world. As home to the Queen of England, Buckingham Palace is an important place for the monarchs and the people of the country, and it is revered for its elegance and has been the focus for national rejoicing for many years. As home to Queen Victoria, who ascended to power in 1837, the palace began its journey as the official royal residence for the British monarch. Central London isn't an officially designated area with borders, but people understand what it means. Central London is the commercial hub of London and some of the most noteworthy and important elements of London are found in this part of the city. You cannot say you have visited London until you visited the most vibrant and busy part of the city. Hyde Park is one of the most beautiful parks in the world. So when you're in London, try to come here. Just take time to walk around and feed the ducks. You can tell a lot about a city by how it manages its parks and Hyde Park shows the best of London. It happens to be one of the largest parks and like most things in London, has a great history attached to it. The park is very well maintained and shows how much the local culture cares about nature and bliss. St. Paul's Cathedral is one of the oldest cathedrals in London and is known to be the place of unique national importance because of its use for many important events in the history. Along with being the location 
which held funerals for some great names such as the Duke of Wellington, as well as Sir Winston Churchill. The cathedral was also the wedding place of Charles, Prince of Wales, to Lady Diana Spencer. One of the main attractions in London is to try local beer, cider or Guinness. So make sure you stop at the local pub. Make sure you try traditional English 5 o'clock tea at Claridge's Hotel. Splurge on a fancy dinner in Sea London or Zuma. Or simply try English classics such as fish and chips and cottage pie at a local pub. Don't forget to do a bit of shopping at Selfridges, Harrods or Harvey Nichols. As you may know, Duchess of Cambridge, Kate Middleton, is a big fan of British fashion brands. So support British economy by buying brands such as Burberry, Elke Bennett, Reese and Alexander McQueen.